Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all having an awesome week and you're excited for another edition of Friday Reads because this week I read Mesmerized by You by Tracy Delaney and it features Jeff on the cover. I'm going to read the back of the book and then tell you what I thought about it. This is also book four in the Kincaid Billionaire series. He promised to love me forever. He lied. I met my soulmate when I was eight and he was six. <laughs> on my 12th birthday, he proposed. At a party to celebrate my sweet 16, he gave me a ring made of daisies. When I left for, co for college, age 18, he cried. And at 24, he broke my heart, shattering it into a million pieces. But that wasn't the end of our story. A decade later, we're forced back together. And once again, he holds my future in his hands. Except this time, I'm older and wiser. He pretends he's innocent, but I know the truth. This time, I'm in control. He no longer mesmerizes me. And Mr. Big Shot Billionaire is about to learn that he can't have what he wants. Me. But we both know that won't probably be the case. <laughs> All right, so this book, I had some twists and turns that I was not expecting. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but I will say... I thought this was going to be more of um, purely romance, but there were some twists, some turns, surprises. One surprise in particular, my mouth drops and I was shocked. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so there, <laughs> so, all right, I root the decision to move to Vegas. Being in Nolan's orbit after almost a decade apart had dreaded up bitter memories I'd worked hard to suppress, but after the collapse of my disastrous marriage, a marriage I held Nolan partly, partly responsible for, Jason had asked me to move here to support the growth of the real estate firm he jointly owned with Nolan. Leaving New York behind for a fresh start on the opposite side of the country had seemed like a good idea at the time. So it's an interesting dynamic because Marla was living with her brother, Jason. Jason is best friends with Nolan. Now, they've all been friends with one another since they were children. However, Jason is always caught in the middle and he wishes that they would just patch things up and get together. He knows they would be perfect for one another. Um, but Marlo and Nolan have this tumultuous, like, love-hate, mostly hate on Marlo's side, relationship where they're constantly fighting in arguments, and it's a mess. Um, but Nolan's goal throughout this entire book is to win Marlo back, and he's not really sure for, for the reasons why she's so angry and upset with him which I'm not going to give that away the reason, but you will find that out pretty early on why she has this upset anger towards him. Um, so through the course of the book, you're going to see them starting out in this hate dynamic, but then how that is going to transform. Jason plays a big role in forcing them to get together in a way. Um, I'm not going to spoil how that comes about, but they're forced to work with one another, I'll say. And then that is kind of Nolan's way of, I'm going to win her back during this process of them working with one another. Um, and Marlo's kind of dealing with the aspect of she likes him, but she hates him. She wants him, but she's trying to keep her distance. So sometimes we have to accept that the thing we wanted wasn't good for us. It wasn't healthy. To me, Nolan Kincaid was a toxin with the power to destroy me, an advantage I'd never grant him. So this is kind of in her own process where she's like, oh, the push and pull, I want him, I... Um, I don't want him, but this thing that happened between them during uh, her earlier years is what's halting her from 
trying to pursue anything with him. And she's also divorced now and she's dealing with the baggage that she still holds from that relationship. But on Nolan's side, I loved her. I needed her. Without her, I was living a half-life, one without meaning or direction or worth. So he's constantly in a state of trying to win and get her back. Um, and like I said, there are some twists and turns and suspense elements, which I was not expecting and very much enjoyed. So having said that, check out Mesmerized by You by Tracy Delaney and let me know what you thought about it. Make sure to subscribe because more Friday reads are coming soon and have a great weekend, everyone.